Hey everyone, so I thought I'd show you a tool for 7 Days to Die, which is called 7 Days to Die Map Renderer 1.0. It's here, you can find it on the internet. Here's the URL. I'm going to include this in the description. So basically what it is, is it lets us take the maps from the current uh, version of the game or plane and kind of take a look at them as well as have some options here for how to view the map. So first, to understand how this works, if you have a generated world you want to look at, there is a URL here that you can enter in. This is for Windows, so for you Mac users, I'm sorry, they don't have the information. But you can use this to copy and paste this path into your uh, browser window, or not browser window, but into a window folder to find your generated worlds. Currently, I don't have any worlds, but we'll just do it anyway. So I'm going to put here, I got my folder open put that in there and it went and found it so I don't have any generated worlds in here at this time but what we are going to use it for are bundled worlds these are seven days to die worlds these have that are coming out with the game are playing 1.0 so I'm going to copy this URL I'm going to put it up here in the folder window and here we now have a list of all the worlds or maps are available as you could see that we have Navis game we have one called playtesting and then there's another one there's 4k so this is kind of new we uh, from what I know is we've had eight or no six eight and ten so apparently we now have a 4k map 6k maps 8k maps and 10k maps and the way to use this would be to click into the map select everything and then you just drag it here, drag your world files here, and then it just generates the map for you here. So it resize that. I was already looking at another map. So here we have, this is the 4K, let's see, let me see what it says again. It's pre-gen 04KA. And over here on the left side, there's different options we can use to kind of take a look at this map. So here's a bi biomes. This, when you turn this down, it turns off the biomes so you could just see it without seeing uh, where the different biome boundaries are. When we turn this down, this will turn down the roads so you can't see where the roads are anymore. Actually, I'm going to make the scale. So down here, I'm going to jump down to the scale to make this a little bigger. 0 0.015. Okay, so this one, you could see the roads are starting to appear and disappear. We reduce this, this would reduce the water so we can't see it. Now let's turn it back on. 0.7 seemed to be pretty good. Now radiation, I haven't found a map yet in 7 Days to Die 1.0 that has radiation that we need to worry about. Okay, prefabs, now we're gonna turn the fabs completely off. And now we're just looking at a map kind of showing the buildings, the roads, the lakes, the biomes, all this other good stuff. But I'm gonna turn that back on. And then we have a scale, as you saw, we can change how big or how small this map is. Now this sign side has to do with these, these different X's. These are all POIs. So if I did something like this, they get really big, or do something like that, they get really small. So we can kind of get a feel for how the, the POIs are set up, as well as kind of see the building layouts. So we'll continue down the road, uh, or continue down the list here. We have prefabs filter. So right now he has uh, buttons that if you click on them, you can just see the prefabs for the specific POIs. So there's Trader. Let me, there, get an idea where the Traders are. T -hunt, 200, 200 pixels seems to be a pretty good size when we're looking at individual. Now I'm going to clear that out. I mean, if I want to, I could do Trader, I could do Store, and I could do Skyscraper. We could also go like downtown area, we do tier fours, and then tier fives. Now, sometimes what I've seen is when I try to click one and then another, sometimes that at gets added to the filter at the same time, which can mess it up. So you just click this X, and then you start all over again. Down here, we have a, a blocks reset. It looks like blocks filter here maybe is crossed out. So this gives you an idea of where super corn is. Okay, we could here. This is where we could get steel with a wrench. Now let me see. 
Uh, I want to see. Looks like this one might also have super corn in there. Uh, book containers, meats. There's working vending machines, and then hidden stash. Okay, I think this is really really cool. This is a really cool tool that can help us to understand kind of what we're looking at when it comes to like which map do we choose. There's like 12 of them right now that we can choose from. I already have an idea which one I want to choose from. So anyway, this is a cool tool. So let's do this. Let's look at each of the layouts for each of the maps that we have available for uh, Seven Days to Die 1. So hold on just a moment. So this first map is pregen 4 k letter A. And we've already kind of take a look at this, how this was originally set up. I'll just make these a little bit smaller. I think I might be using this one in my very first playthroughs. I think it has a good variety of small, bigger, and then very large. Plus, there's a good progression of, you know, you have forest, and you can go in desert, and you got snow, and you can go up to wasteland, and then this is burnt forest. Also, I think, uh, as you see here, as, well, Okay, I'll make that bigger. It's, a, it's an okay number of tier 5 POIs. And uh, if we scroll down here, we could see the list of what's there. And what this does is allows us to take a look and see, does this have the POIs that I would like to show or like to see? Because maybe this one doesn't have the new high school. And let's see, Navisgain Athletic. Uh, let's see, high school, prison, Theater, Higashi, there's Grover High. Okay, this is this the new one? I don't know if this is the new one. Now, I think it actually is the new one. I, I'm still kind of new, still, still kind of figuring out Seven Days to Die 1.0, so bear with me, please. But when we see we have Annie Tower, we have all these other Tier 5s that we can, uh, you know, confirm that this map has, at least for me, you know, what I want. This next map is pregen 4 kb I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can kind of see. And you can see, kind of see how the layout goes. And you're wondering how is there some, there is some consistent kind of layout and how the map looks between 4K, 6K, 8K, and 10K. And it usually has to do with the last letter in the name of the map. So whether it's A, B, C, or D, they kind of have a similar flow as to how the layout works. So let's say maybe I wonder about this one. Well, do you guys see a big city in here? I don't really see big cities, but let's take a look at this. Let's go. What have we got here? Okay, this one has 15 prefabs. Um, let's see. Grover. It's got two Grover High Schools. Okay, if you want two Grover High Schools, it's great, but maybe, and it's got two of the same U.S. post space, but maybe I'm missing out on something here that I would like to have. Um, let's see, Pop and Pill, Shamway, Higashi, is Deshaun in here? No, Deshaun, forget it. I'm not going to this map. Let's go on and take a look at the next one. So this is uh, pre-gen 0, 4K, C, one of the cool things about this tool, cool tool, is it kept my settings. So I still have tier five selected, and there it is. It's showing me tier five. Take a look down here. Get an idea about what is in in here. Do I have a dish on tower? Do I see? I don't know if I, see, I don't really see dish on tower in here. But then again, maybe I don't care. All I care about, maybe I want to two ostrich hotels. For some reason, I'm just crazy, or two pop and pill factories, because you know, maybe I can get. I want to make sure I can get antibiotics like twice. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Talking's crazy. Anyway, we've already looked at this one. Let's go look at the last one. I'm gonna look at. Yes, there are 12 maps, but each of these maps kind of sorta is the same, whether 4K, 6K, 8K, or 10K. It's just they're a little bigger, and the layout is just a little bit different. And this final one is pregen 4 k d And, okay, so we have, uh, let me. Oh, really? Really? Oh, forget it. This one only has one tier five? Forget it. How many tier fours? Okay, tier fours are not bad. 
Traders, okay, you got traders. It's almost one per biome. Oh, wait, there's, there's no trader here. There's no town here. What in the world? Oh, my God, I ripped off. Jip. Okay, shenanigans, Red Mesa. Okay, yeah, forget it. We're not going to be using this map. This one is 6KA. I think, actually, I'm going to change my mind. Let's go take a real quick look. Um, there's 24 prefabs. Yes, there's some duplicates of these. Dishon, do I see a Dishon in here? No, I don't see a Dishon tower in here. I wonder if they changed the name or something. Maybe I've gone crazy. I don't know, but okay, here again, this is the 6KA map. This one is the 6KB version of the map. No Dishon, fewer prefabs. This one is a 6KC map. And this is the 6KD map, which actually has more tier fives. Oh, but it has Dishon Tower. This one has Dishon Tower. This one is 8KA. I'm going to start going fast. So if you guys want to take a look at these, just go ahead, pause the video, or just go on the list link, man, and just start playing around yourself. Or that came out wrong. And this one is 8KB. And yes, sometimes these maps take a little while to, to load up and replace the map before. So just be patient. This one doesn't have a dish on tower. And this one is 8 K D and this one has actually two dish on towers. Pardon me, correction. This is eight K C. And this one is the eight K D here. Has a dish on tower, but a bunch of Grover High Schools. That's too many high schools for me. I barely lived through high school. Now they want me to go back there three times? Forget about it. And now the 10K, so this is 10KA. Yes, of course, as the map gets bigger, there's going to be more and more prefabs overall for the whole map. So, yeah, I'm expecting there to be multiple high schools and everything like that. And it only has one dish on tower. Okay, one dish on tower is more than enough. This one is 10KB. Lots of prefabs in here. I see a couple of dish on cars, but towers, but I guess maybe just one crack a book. Pretty nice though. 10KC. A couple of dish on towers. Okay, decent. Really big map. And finally, 10KD. So this is this is pretty this is a really cool tool. I recommend it for everyone who wants to get an idea about how the maps and everything are laid out. You know, since we're looking at this, what I would like to do is I want to go back to that one I was interested in. I just want to see if there was a dish on tower because, you know what, I didn't look to see if there's the dish on tower. No, oh, by the way, there's this little loading text here that will let us know when everything is done. Okay. All right. That's, that's a little big. A little bit, go a little bit smaller. 18 prefabs. Uh, 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 oh, no dish on tower. So, anyway, I thought I'd share this tool with you for you guys that didn't know about that. I think it's a pretty cool tool, man. And, uh, yeah, we got a series that'll start up pretty soon. Um, I was really thinking about this map, it's nice, small. It's intimate, looks pretty easy to navigate, but it doesn't have a dish on tower. I might, I might have to learn to live without it. And I hope this video was helpful, you guys. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Later, dudes.